Hi, welcome to Shop Stop. This week we're going to talk about sharpening drill bits. When you're reconditioning drill bits, there's a lot of things you've got to look at. Uh, one is you've got to make sure all your angles are correct and the way you can determine that is you can get one of these or you can build one and it's basically a, an angle that's set at 59 degrees that you can lay up against your drill bit and check your angle of grind as you're going along to make sure your point's centered. And that's a key part. When you start thinking about the drill bit, there's probably three things you need to think about. The one we typically would focus on is, well, we gotta make sure this edge is sharp so it'll cut. The second thing is, is this point really needs to be in the center of, of the bit. Otherwise, the bit will wanna wander off to the side. And then the third thing is, this back edge has to be removed a little bit or else the, the drill bit will ride on this part and not cut very fast. You don't want to take too much off of this or else it'll try to drill too fast. Yeah, you want typically for mild steel, you want that about 12 degrees. If you're doing harder steels, you want that eight, nine-ish degrees, somewhere in there. The harder the, and then you also want to flatten this angle out if you're doing hard steel as opposed to mild steel. Uh, plastics, it's always best to have these a little bit shallower angles so they don't suck through the plastic as well. But uh, the other thing you've got to worry about too is if you break a bit off, you're going to have, as this drill bit gets closer to the shank, this being the shank, this web, which means this distance right here where that chisel point is, gets wider as it gets closer to the shank. Now, if you break one in half and you start sharpening one, you're going to have to close that, that chisel point uh, distance. There certainly are some tools available to help us. The, the drill bit gauge is one. We have drill bit sharpeners that we can set our angles and we can actually sharpen the bits and make sure that point's in the center. Most of us aren't going to have one of these and what's going to happen is, is we're going to be in the middle of a project and need to sharpen a drill bit and so we're going to have to do it on a bench grinder. So we're gonna demonstrate that for you right now. What I like to do is I like to put my, my hand up under the, the guide on the, and let the stone be here and put my hand under the guide and then roll that thing through the, on the stone like this so that I'm putting an angle on that back edge. And then when I cool my drill bit, I leave my hand here cool my drill bit and then come back and when I put it back I'll have it in the exact same spot again and then rotate it around and do the other side until I get my angles right. When you look at the cost of a drill bit, I mean as you start thinking about this, when the drill bits aren't that expensive, it's needing it in the middle of the project that's the, the concern. That's it for Shop Stop this time. We'll see you next week. <laughs>